first covered bridge in Pennsylvania was designed by Timothy Palmer. The Dr. Knightley Bridge was built in 1867, but the builder is unknown. This bridge measures 80 feet long. The bridge was named about a doctor in the area who saved many lives. Doctors during the time period were even more valuable than today. Citizens did not always have money to pay for their services, so instead they traded goods. Today the bridge sits at the same location crossing Dunning's Creek about two miles from Pleasantville, Pennsylvania. Although the bridge is no longer used for travel, it is still a beautiful artifact of our history. The Quigan Covered Bridge was originally built in 1880 in, at Reynoldsdale. The bridge was moved to its new location in 1975. This structure is used to cross the Juniana River, which was a major transporter of services and goods. This bridge measures 126 feet long. Today, it is still in use near Old Bedford Village in Bedford, Pennsylvania. This structure was built in 1890 across Bob's Creek and is 90 feet long. The builder of the bridge is unknown. The bridge was originally used for trading and transportation. Today, the bridge only allows foot traffic. There is a modern bridge alongside the structure. The reason the bridge is not used for transportation today is to keep the historic ingenuity alive. The Hairline Covered Bridge was built in 1902, but the builder is unknown. The bridge is similar to the Clayton Bridge because they both cross the Juniata River. This bridge measures 138 feet long. Like many others in Bedford County, it uses the Bird Trust construction. This type of construction was popular due to low upkeep and its long-lasting design. This bridge is located approximately one mile from Man's Choice, Pennsylvania. This is one of three bridges in Bedford County that is painted the typical covered bridge color of red. <laughs>